Hi, Grandma Bev here from Life with Grandma Bev, and welcome back to my channel. Now, those of you who probably watched my short, I printed, not printed, posted the other day, saw that my closet fell apart. So I'm going to share with you uh, the before, during, after. So I'll start with what I discovered. I heard a tremendous crash when I was sitting in the other room. I thought, what did that cat do? This is what I found. My cl our closet. The whole shelf ripped out of the wall. And everything. I mean, that pink thing's my sewing kit. <laughs> Can you imagine what's under that? So, I was planning on going through everything anyway to get ready to haul a bunch of things off to my thrift store. So I guess uh, now I have to. Anyway, Callie was just sitting in the hallway, so it couldn't have been her, but you know, she's gonna get blamed for everything. And here it is, emptied out. Well, the entire closet is emptied out because this was stuff that I had on the, the floor. Like, see, that's my big, Vera Bradley container that I shove all of my Vera Bradley travel things with. There's where I put all my slacks. These are drawers that I put below the the uh, hanging stuff that I put lots and ends of things in. And there's Kelly Cuckoo. She's supervising this endeavor. So the the, uh, the rack went all the way across and met up with Bob's side. So that's how it looks now all cleaned out and here's how it looks with everything that was on the hangers out through everything on the bed and then i get to go through everything because i needed to clean out my closet of uh, clothes obviously and i'm probably going to get rid of at least half of what's on here not more so, you know, I'll either go to the Goodwill or my thrift store, more than likely my thrift store, because these are all my perfect condition tops, basically. <laughs> Here's some of the stuff that was up on the shelf. <sighs> and then, you know, like I just say, it's just going to go here and there. I may sell some of it or attempt to on eBay this summer. But then over here are more things that I had <laughs> up on the shelf. That That's a real old sewing kit. I mean, there's things in there that I haven't used for years and years. There's an old computer. So, I mean, this sewing kit, look at that. It came from either blue chip stamps or green chip stamps. I mean, I've got a one of those glue guns, all kinds of stuff in there. <laughs> and I haven't used them, so I'll probably get rid of the inside contents, but not the other itself. So it's probably a collector's item. So I'll be back with you here and there to let you know my progress is going. Well, the supervisor wants me to report on my progress. <laughs> yeah, there were five, there's a whole pile there, and two, three over there. Uh, so there were five. So I've gotten through a whole stack. Those are the ones I'm keeping. Those are the empty hangers. And I'm putting all of these, you can see I halfway filled it up. I mean, a lot of these are brand new, still with tags. So those are the ones that I'm going to decide if I'm going to give them to my thrift store, of course the newest ones that go to the thrift store. Some of them may be posted on eBay. And uh, I doubt if any will go to the Goodwill. <laughs> so, uh, Bob just got back from the hardware store, so he's in there uh, putting the, the rack back up. So, uh, we'll come on when we get through another stack. Well, here's an update. <laughs> you can see that there's one pile I can't quite go through yet. But look, the whole half of the bed is gone through. I started on my, now, now this container is chuck full. And I just started on 
this one. So we're making progress and here's the stack to go back in the closet. I mean, look at all the empty hangers. <laughs> Those had tops on them. So I feel like I'm making good progress. Now as for the closet itself, Bob thought he had it fixed <laughs> and then decided, no, he wanted to go back to the hardware store and get some different screws or something because he's worried it'll fall again sometime. So he wants to really make sure he's got it bolted down well. And he said, well, there'll be a lot of holes in the wall back here. And thought, well, who's going to see them? His clothes always in front of him. So I'm not worried about that. Oh, in the meantime, I think I'm going to lay down a second here. Catch my breath. I'm really hot. So, do uh, you have anything to say, Cuckoo? Oh, here she goes. She wants to check out. Yeah. Check everything out. That furry thing you see there, that was a cat we had that we had stuff. No, I'm kidding. This was a hat that I got in the USSR back in 85. We went over there with a hockey team, the boys. And I was the person that had to arrange all the you know, hotels and everything and the air flight. I mean, look at, see the tag on it. Everything is, uh, you know. So this could be worth something. Because <laughs> I never wear it. I needed it then because we got over there. We were all from Seattle. <laughs> she tried to jump in there and it fell over. Now she'll go in here. And we were all from Seattle and we had our regular Seattle clothes. And this was Thanksgiving time. And we froze, so we all had to buy some warm things. And uh, Michelle even got a little fur coat out of it because she was 10 years old. <laughs> so ah, maybe someday she'll show you that if she still has it. So let's take a little rest, Cal. Looks like you're already at it. I'm laying here on the bed, <laughs> trying to catch my breath and cool down a little. I'm going to sweat. I have lost 10 pounds, though, since we got home from Yuma. And I attribute a lot of it, not just to not having the sweets, <laughs> because you saw what I bought at, at uh, Dollar Tree, and just those two packages of Peeps. So I've been really good about the sweets. And this house has a long, long hallway, <laughs> as I've shown in other pictures. So I take any opportunity to walk through the house, <laughs> you know, up and down, up and down. In fact, Callie knows that the minute I get up, I'm going to go out there and walk up and down that hall a couple of times. <laughs> she walks with me. Oh, at least we're getting this done. Which means I'm not getting my computer room done today. Then we discovered, or I discovered, that YouTube had sent a 1099, but they sent it online. Well, Bob had done the taxes and sent the payment in. So now he's going to have to do a, what do you call amendment to the tax return. <clears throat> in the meantime, he told me I didn't need to save all my YouTube receipts and stuff. But luckily, I just threw them out, <clears throat> excuse me, when I got the, all the paperwork together for him to do the taxes to begin with. See, that's another thing I had interrupt <laughs> my progress on getting the house back together is the taxes. So everything's in the recycling bag under the sink So because all, all the paperwork. So I think I can get enough there to where it shouldn't make a difference in our taxes. They get you everywhere, you know? I can't even just have fun. So you know what I've decided to do? I'm going, not going to monetize anymore. Bob and I talked about it over dinner last night. <laughs> Mexican food, yes. And I, I'm not really in it for the money. I don't need the money. I told him, yeah, but what would I do with myself? I enjoy doing this. It gives me something to do. I just sit around like, you know, all the time, <laughs> watching TV all day. And he says, well, is there any way you can not get the money, tell them not to send you money. And well, yeah, I can not, not, I can not click the box that says monetize. So I guess I'm gonna try that and just concentrate on getting the subscribers. Cause that's what I really, my focus had been when I first started. It wasn't to make money. 
It was to uh, just do something to be proud of myself for, something to keep me busy, occupied, keep the mind going, you know. So that's what I've started doing. So I'm just going to be doing this for fun and to get the subscribers. <laughs> So, you know, at least then I have a feeling of accomplishment. And I tell well, it's hard when your whole life you've been raised that when you do any work or anything, you get paid for it or monetized or, you know, something like that. Well, like he told me, what if you were volunteering somewhere, you wouldn't be getting paid? Uh, you know, see why I married this man? He's so damn smart. So, <sighs> the ones that started today, I did not monetize. So... You'll see. <laughs> it's hard to get in the mindset. Because I know when I started doing this, I said I was doing it for fun. I didn't care, you know, if I get, get to the thousand and get monetized and stuff. But then along the way, you start feeling like, hey, you know, I'm putting in all this work. I want to get monetized. But uh, every year we've had to pay more and more in taxes, Bob and I. Uh, and now we're, we're just members, excuse me, of the middle class. Remember, we were all promised a uh, tax break several years back. <laughs> Hasn't happened in this house yet. <laughs> Instead, it's gone up every year. So what can you do, you know? So I'm going to continue to lay here for a little bit, and I'll be back to show you more progress. Okay, progress report. Well, look at all those hangers few broken ones on that stool. I've got one dress. <laughs> Everything else in that pile, in those two piles, are shirts. Now on the bed now are things that go up on the shelf of the thing back there. Here's my prom dress that I wore my senior ball and my junior prom <laughs> with the little invites in it too. <laughs> Crazy, huh? So, you know, I've got my, my uh, long pants, my jeans, the old sewing kit, a feeding pad, some hats that I got oh, the last two years and didn't end up wearing them on my trips, but who knows, I might this year. And then I can uh, say I got started on the second container. Not too many in there yet. But what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to start trying to wear a different shirt every time I do a video and see what you guys think of it. And I even thought of, a few years back, a bunch of, of you gals started taking, like on Fridays, one, uh, five shirts, trying them on for us and getting our opinions of what we thought of them, whether we should keep them or not. So I might do that. Tell me what you think. So when I come back, I'm going to show you the finished product with everything hanging up in the closet. Okay, project completed. Huh. Here's how it looks now. Now you may think, oh my God, she still has a lot. But you know, they're all hung up there, a lot looser. So it doesn't start against the wall or spaces in between. And when we started, I could not even hardly get them apart to get a shirt out. That's how full it was. So, you know, there's nothing on the shelf. Well, after I get all these shirts hung back up, Bob says, you know, I think this isn't going to work. We need something different. To start. You know, I don't know. I don't want to take all these things off again. <coughs> so we're leaving it like this, not putting anything on the top. I had to kind of make room for things down here on this other shelf in my long pants and stuff. So, ah. Now, in all fairness to me, when I was growing up, I had a school uniform, <laughs> um, a dress or two to wear to church, and everything else was what came in the uh, donation bags that people would bring to church. So it was always used clothing that didn't really fit me right, and that, that's what I had. So I, I do tend to go over overdo it on these. Now, when I was married before, I felt like nothing looked good on me, so... I didn't buy very many things then either. <laughs> so I can blame this on Bob. Because <laughs> he likes me in my clothes. Well, well that's that said. No, it doesn't mean he doesn't like me without him. But I mean, he, if, you, if I like something, he says, well, go ahead and get it, honey. 
So he understands because he grew up the same way. <laughs> so it's my inner child hanging there. So I hope you've all enjoyed this. I think that this is it for for uh, this part of it. If it ends up being a part two, I'll come on at a later date, which I'm sure it's going to be a later date because we're tired. And I'll update you. Hope you're all having a good day. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe. I love you all. Bye.